Hi class. These are the case studies. You will have case studies assigned to you on a weekly or biweekly basis, depending on which course you're taking. These case studies are meant to stretch your knowledge and apply your, your in-class knowledge to real-world scenarios. Your unit exams will have case studies on them. The case studies that you're doing here for homework are much more difficult than the case studies you will find on your unit exams, so have no fear. Um, but these weekly homework assignment case studies are meant to help stretch your knowledge and apply your knowledge as well as synthesize all of the little bits and pieces that you're learning in this class. Put them to, it helps to put them together. So if we're learning about the, um, the skeletal system, for example, and we're talking about bone physiology and osteoporosis, we can apply the concepts of osteoporosis and maybe calcium absorption to endocrine system when we look at the case studies as a whole. Instead of just learning all of the systems individually, the case studies allow us to look at everything at, in the big picture, which is what medical um, practitioners do, nurses, doctors, physical therapists, et cetera. They have to look at the big picture. So I know most of you are taking this course for a medical type application, and that's why I include them in the course. Now, you will find that in many cases, you will not be able to just pull off the top of your head the information needed for the case studies. That's on purpose. I want you to get used to looking for outside sources for information. You're going to have to do that in almost all of your upper level classes that you will be taking to complete your any degree program. So it's important to learn how and where to look for things when you need information. Your textbook should be number one. That's a great reference. You have the, the physical book as well as the e-text and the, the course website that you can look through for information. You can also use the um, college's online library resources. There are thousands of online databases that you can look and search for scholarly references. Just going to Google is fine. However, um, I will not accept Wikipedia as a source for information. You need to, you can use Wikipedia to get sources. So in other words, go to the bottom of the Wikipedia article and look for the scholarly references there. But I should not see Wikipedia on your reference list. Speaking of reference lists, if you do use outside sources, including your textbook, as a reference for any work in this class, from a discussion to a um, case study to any other homeworks or assignments, you should be using references and a works cited type page where you at least tell me what the book is or at least give me the link. I'm not going to be taking off points if they're improperly cited. Um, as long as you have a citation included, that is fine. I don't care if you use APA or MLA or whatever other source citations are out there, but please include those in any works that you submit that, have, that you have used outside references for. So please let me know if you have questions about these assignments.